In this episode of Puzzle Time, we're showing you a puzzle called Crossroad. It's a maze puzzle. It's got 62 different solutions. It's from Puzzle by Piker, which you might recognize that name from somewhere before because we've mentioned it in our show. Now this puzzle's for sale at Puzzle Master. Check out more puzzles from Puzzle by Piker in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 126 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we're showing you puzzles from Puzzles by Piker, right? What's the guy's name? Brian Cran. Brian Cran, right. So, uh, you might recognize this name from our online buzz. And what episode was that there? It was in episode 104 of Puzzle Time. Yeah, so that was episode 104. We showed you the 6L puzzle in that episode. And we talked about yeah, a whole bunch of just Puzzled by, puzzled by Piker stuff. It was uh, based on a video we watched on Tanner's channel. That'd be, uh, what did I get myself into? And uh, we watched him do that 6L puzzle. It was an awesome puzzle. We ended up ordering it because of that video. So uh, if you guys watch our online buzz, that's we, we do order puzzles from that uh, here at Puzzle Master. And we get things based on that research we did for that episode. So here it is. Enjoy this based off episode 104 of Puzzle Time. We have Puzzled by Piker. Let's start with the plus four, Linnea. Um, so this is the yeah. same idea, the same like style of cube, just different solve. Yeah, but, as the 6L that yeah. Tanner did. So we do have the 6L, but we figured if you want to go see it, go check out What Did I Get Myself Into? Watch his channel. Uh, we're going to show you a few others here. Uh, and Because we, we do have, what do we have? Like probably how many different puzzles by puzzles by Piker? I think like eight or something. Eight like or that. so puzzles. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is called the plus four. Now, the first thing I actually noticed here, Linnea pointed this out, actually. If you look on the top of the box here, there's some, uh, just some information about the puzzle. Let's see if I can get this going to focus. There it is. Labyrinth puzzle plus four, or labyrinth cube. So is this like the labyrinth cube series? Is that what it is? Yeah, there's a series of different labyrinth cubes. There's okay. five, I think, of that we have. So it does say it's designed by Brian Cren, who is, I believe, the owner of Puzzled by Piker. But it says art by Jared Peterson. And Linnea recognized that name. Now, I don't know if you guys recognize that name, but uh, who is Jared Peterson feasibly? We're not, I mean, it is a common name, so it could be someone different. But art, I'm going to assume, is this. Yeah. We have a uh, puzzles him from by Core Mods. Core Mods. So that's the Core Mods guy. So not sure if that's the case. He um, also does 3D printing. That's why I kind of linked it together. I was like, maybe they got together and worked together maybe, because they do 3D printing. Yeah, maybe, maybe that is. That is I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how they're using that or what that means, but it, hey, if this is Jared Peterson, cool. And this is the core mods guy. I don't know. Maybe these guys are friends. Yeah. Okay. What I liked about this first thing is you no, can hold, see hold on here. Before you get into that, it's a level eight on the Puzzle yeah. Master difficulty rating scale. So it is in the middle of... I like that he had a magnetic spot here that right will stick there. to the top of your lid and you won't lose your ball bearing unless you want to store inside your maze. So you get a little ball bearing inside of the um, a bag here. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's you're saying that's like a storage spot for it? That has nothing yeah. to do with the solve, you don't think? No, that's just a storage spot right for it. That's yeah. cool, I like that. I like that. I like when things are well thought out that way, right? One thing I wish could be a bit better is the lid should stick, so that when you're twisting and turning, you don't have to yeah, hold the, the lid, lid is, on. the lid is pretty loose, which, yeah, I, I agree. So if you turn right. it upside down, now you have to hold the lid on with the pieces right. in, right? Whereas if it would so, stick on... So you're not sure which hole, so you're putting it in this hole? Yeah, the top corner. And then it's going to come out this one or, or one, one of the four. side. Yeah. Will it come out the bottom? Why is it? Well, like, why is the bottom hole so big? Is there an aspect of like assembling it with that hole? Like, because these fit in there. You think, I think like, they all have to be inside the box. I would think. Because it said it has to go through all twenty-seven voxels of the the maze part. All right. Interesting. So yeah, you just got to run run it through the maze and figure out. Which hole? So it does it only come at one hole? It does seem to in, imply that, hey? Yeah. 
I mean, I think the thing about this puzzle too is that technically, technically, the box is just a formality. Yeah. In, in in terms of like you actually solve it, you don't have to like solve this inside the box per se because you could. Well, unless you're gonna hold all the pieces together as you twist and turn it, right? The yeah, I mean, you might have to block. You might have to block some holes. Is I guess what I'm saying. All the other pieces are actually exactly the same shape, hey? Yeah. Except the holes will be different in them. But how do you tell if it goes through all the voxels? Like, how do you know if it goes through all of them? That's the thing that yeah. I'm wondering. I mean, you can follow the pathway. Like, you can feasibly, like, is, when you're putting it together, right? It can be like, oh, it's actually going to go through there. So you can, like, mentally, I think, solve the puzzle as you're putting it together. Because I, I think that's what it's going to end up being, right? Yeah. Mentally, you're just going to have to be like, okay, it's going to go into that hole. So then, then I'm going to put the ball here and it's going to go through this one and into that so i'm like oh then there's a dead end there so you're going to solve it kind of it's an interesting it's a different way of solving it in some ways because you're kind of putting it together and solving it as you go and i think the actual physical solve will be a formality like you're like i know this works and you put it in and you just do it right yeah so the when you actually put it into the box and, and run run the ball through it's kind of just a formality because feasibly I would have it figured out before I put it in there and know that it would work. And you just, you know, you twist, 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 twist. Yeah. Right. So. So that's the thing. These can sit in different directions then to solve it hmm. there. Cool. Okay. I like that. That's a, I, I like this stuff. I've, I've heard really good things about this puzzle by Piker. So I, uh, I like these. So we've got another one here. What's this one called? The crossroad. Crossroad. And then I did a little bit of work previously to us doing this because this puzzle has some assembly. Now, what level is this puzzle? This one is a level 5 to 10 depending on the setup. So you have multiple setups. So there's, I think, six different maze pieces. And in the orientation that you set them up or which combination you set them up, you can get 62 different setups 60 different puzzles so you're getting like this is like a 62 in one puzzle right here and you can also get i found out by when i was setting it up the way you orientate your maze so you could put the star and circle together you could put the circle and triangle together you could put the circle square and then the circle circle what are you talking about circle what so there's all different things oh. to orientate which way you put the maze here. together let's show this off this is a little harder to see yes. there's a star here there's a triangle there and you flip it over and there's a circle and a square and that you're using those to as to how you orient them yeah. inside of this. Box. So one says put both circles up to the top. So you pull them up to the top and put them in this way. And then the actual thing about these is it all, it's magnetic. So it can click differently. Huh. Okay. But so. ha by having, you can have this a couple different ways too. By having both circles at the top, they tell you where to place the pegs too. So this one says, if it says place it in the north and then place it in the east position. And then there's, you go do put, place it in the north, place it in the south position. Okay. So there's, so there's different orientations of where you place these pegs too. So there's your, two, two pegs. And what's, what's your goal? So you're putting, so I'm going to put, two frames in here like just mm -hmm. can you do it randomly yes or is there i believe you can do it randomly as well and then just work? i i would think so so then what am i doing so then i'm gonna put well let's I'm gonna figure put the, it, yeah. the pegs in yeah in mm -hmm. so in the cross not in these i don't know why these are there these are probably more just for for maneuvering yeah. the the pieces a bit like that because it just gives you a little bit more maneuverability and you can kind of see it gives you some vision into there seeing what's uh what's going on yeah so i'm gonna put them in like this and again yeah, i talked about these little magnets in the end so you click them in where's the other one here yeah and they're both magnetic which is cool yeah. and if you look at the little paper here it tells you how many moves you're gonna have for each orientation each setup so it shows you each setup and how many moves it'll take to solve to get both you have to get both these mazes out to get both the yellow and the red both out. Them out okay so, so how does this move then? So like you can move that over. So these mazes don't move up. But you almost got to get like one of the. Hmm. That's interesting. So you're running through both mazes and then trying to get the maze 
the idea is to get both mazes out of the puzzle. Yeah. Huh. And then these these things will move up and down once you get them into. I can't actually on this one get them into that cross area, up and down. But eventually they'll move up and down. Yeah. That's cool. I like this. This is this is really interesting. And then this is your solution here. Mm -hmm. This isn't the solution. It's the or not solution setups. Yeah. So this so is this one. You'll need in this setup. You'll need the purple with a square facing the top. Okay. So so this would be like the purple purple maze with the square at the top, and this one's the black maze with the star at the top. Yeah. Now, how do you know? No. So now southwest. So this is what you'll put oh, your peg in the south here and in the west here. Okay. And that's where your pegs will start. And now this one has 26 moves till I can release both mazes. Okay. Huh. So now working your way through, now you can count how, your moves as you're doing it if you'd like. How do you know which way to have this or does that matter? I don't matter, think right? it matters. I think you just have to have it sliding left to right. Right, because it actually won't make a difference if you have it facing forward or back. I mean, you kind of want it forward because you want to be able to see, well, I guess, I don't know, however you want these windows visibility. Maybe it makes it a little easier if you can see certain parts. See, and then you can get the two pieces to sit together. Here. Why does it seem like the triangle, okay, do you, not, do you notice that the triangle isn't used much on here? There's like a couple purple, three yellow, an orange. Could you ever use the Well, you have the triangle? ones on the back. Oh, there's more on the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you have 62 different there setups. So. But the black triangle still isn't used on here. That's awesome. I like that. And there's how, how many different mazes is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different yeah. mazes. There you go. All in different colors. This is a well thought out puzzle. I like that. What level is this again? You said level five to ten. Yeah, depending, depending on, on which maze setup you do, because some does will be it, harder, some will be easier. Does like, it actually say what the which ones are harder? Well, I'm guessing just the harder difficulty, right? So 34 moves would be oh, harder than right. seven moves, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah. moves would tell you there's one that's 50 moves here. I don't know you're what right. the highest would be. 51 right there. Yeah. 52. It says in here actually. This is a cool cool feature actually. Is if you get stuck, you can reset it. So you just push it all back in and put the pegs back. That's cool that they have a reset. I like that. Like this. I mean, naturally kind of has that. But that's that's really good. Okay, free the five. Puzzled by Piker again, designed by Brian Brian Kren, as I think all of these are. Now this puzzle is really cool. We're gonna talk about someone who did this puzzle in our online buzz because we watched the solve on this puzzle. This one's kind of like three puzzle boxes in one. Like yeah. you're not getting one puzzle. I like all of his stuff. You don't get one puzzle. This one, you get a packing puzzle in a maze. This one, you get like 62 yeah. mazes. This one, you get three puzzles. These are really good bang for your buck puzzles. I, I like that. And so this yeah. one says it's a level eight on our Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. Level eight. And I, I would agree on that. It is, so yeah. this is a sequential discovery puzzle. We, Like I said, we watched the solution on this. Um, not all the way. I watched most of it. And we'll, again, we'll talk about that in the online buzz. But... Um, Okay, so the, the goal is to find and free the five coins. There's five coins between the three boxes. Yeah. Uh, and so three of them are visible right away. Yeah, so you can, you can see, see there's a blue one there. Yeah. Here, let's get these in focus. Bring this up here. There you go. So there's a blue teal coin. Yeah. This kind of a br brass or bronze one. And then another teal -y coin. Now, these aren't real coins. These are like fake are they, are they? No, I think they're fake. I don't think they're real, but maybe they yeah, are. I don't think they are either, but it's hard to tell. Uh, so yeah, we these are cool. There's five coins. There's buttons on these uh, there. And then there's like some holes like this where you can see there's a slot here where obviously something like a coin is going to push in there. Uh, then there's slots where the coins are going to come out or go in. Uh, this one has a little hole in the front here. Um, so these are these are great. I, I thought they were really really good puzzles, especially after seeing the solution, um, and then holding them. I mean, they're they're just they're well made um, quality puzzles for sure. So um, so yeah, they're they're great. Um, Puzzle by Piker. That's three three different puzzles. That's the plus four, three the five, and crossroad. So 
I don't think we'll, we'll let's not show anything on these. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. show any of this move. Let's get into the online buzz. Online buzz. Okay, as promised, we have an online buzz that shows uh, the solution to these. And it is by, uh, who's it by again? Beats and Pieces. Beats and Pieces, right, 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 right. Uh, so, Beats and Pieces, I think he's French, right? Yeah. From France? Uh, I believe he's from uh, Somewhere, yeah. I'm not sure. But he's French, uh, but does speak English. Uh, I love Beats and Pieces channel. We've talked about him on here before. Uh, and we watched him do this three to five uh, puzzle. I loved it. I mean, he has he just does some great videos and uh, really explains it well. What's going on? Um, go watch it. I, I'm not going to say any more because it was just it was really good. It was really worth watching. Uh, next, we watched. Should we do uh, should we do football flippy ball? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Linnea is going to lead this one. I have not seen this puzzle. Linnea, you did. I'm going to try challenge you a little bit first. Kay. See if you can understand the solve. I did a video on it on, it first? yes, I did a video on it on TikTok and it, I show this all, but I don't, and you don't, I don't show how it happens or why it happens. So okay. I was told by Al to explain why it happens and what's going on inside the ball. Al so, is the puzzle master, the owner of puzzle master. Uh, he is the man and he was very excited about this puzzle, right? Yeah. So on TikTok, yeah, like I said, I show the video, go check it out. It's a fun video. I kind of lined it up nicely with some music. So. Okay, so it's a 3D printed puzzle with yeah. a ball in the middle and you just gotta get the ball out? Yeah, you gotta open like open up the puzzle. This makes me think of Flappy Bird. Like yeah. The flippy ball. <laughs> yeah. And it's I'm designed sure by George Bell. George Bell. Yeah. Where is, oh, the ball's like in the middle, so it's like... Yeah. I'm going to be frustrated at this because I'm not going to get it and then it's going to be super simple. Once you understand the movement and why it's happening, it's easier to understand the solution. Yeah. It has my uh, my curiosity because there's not a lot of puzzles that Al always gets excited about here. Whoa. Okay. So it just flipped open. <laughs> so it has to do with centrifugal force is why it flipped open for you. So what's going on is this ball is sitting in the tube and it's going back and forth and it eventually just pushes it open and that's why it flips open. Ball pushes it open? Yeah, so when you so the move is is you spin it really fast and the ball forces it to flip open like that. The ball force. So by the movement that's going back and forth inside it there. It's back together. Um so I found I rested the ball right in the center there. And then you have to kind of, it's like one of those dexterity ones where you have to get all the pieces back. And so... Does it matter what orientation you have it in? So essentially what you're doing here is... Do I use the plate? Yes, yeah, because yours is sideways now. It's not going to work. Oh, see now. No, it didn't work because the, the ball, you have to see the... I, I, on mine, every time it's worked, I can see the ball in the top. There you go. Now it's coming to the top. Yeah. Oh, I see a drop though, it didn't work. So you have to use enough force where it stays at the top. I guess, yeah. Yeah, because there weird. you get in here, drop, right? This is such a weird puzzle. Man, see, I love puzzles like this where it's like really simple. Yeah, but the understanding of what's going on is what makes it harder. But why you're understanding why it happens. I don't understand why it doesn't come apart like this. Why doesn't it just come apart in my hand? Like, I feel like it should. I feel like that ball's preventing it from pulling out though. Yeah, somehow. That's just weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Go check out Linnea's TikTok um, that she did on this. It's on the Puzzle Master TikTok? Yeah. Is it on any other platform? Uh, it's on all of them. Yeah, no. it's on Instagram yeah. and it's on the YouTube, YouTube Shorts. Shorts. Yeah. So go check it out. Flippy Ball, man, that is, uh, that has my brain spinning. Cool. Okay, well, that's the end of the online buzz. Um, we also have a contest going on, again, Up Viral. Now, Up Viral is a place where you can go and you can click the link and go there and you can enter to win puzzles. We've got five different puzzles we're, we're doing a, a draw for. It can be Cast Snow, Cast Dice, Cast Love, Cast Bell, Cast Twist. Five Paniyama puzzles. Click the link in the description 
and go there. You can get entries for like sharing the, the link. You can get entries if people enter from your link that you shared. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff on social media to get entries to win these puzzles. The draw date is gonna be June 2nd. The contest will end May 31st. So go to that link in the description. Go to Facebook. We have all these contests that are on our Facebook page. Uh, do we just want on the Instagram page too? No. No? Facebook. Okay. So Facebook is the place to go if you want to get into some of these contests. This up viral contest, like I said, ends May 31st. The draw is June 2nd. You can win possibly up to five puzzles, but there'll be an individual draw for each of those five puzzles. That's cast snow, cast dice, cast love, cast bell, cast twist. Check it out. Linnea, where can people go to find out more about all of the different social media mm, stuff we're Facebook, doing? Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. You can go to our website, check out our sign up for our newsletter. Yeah. Um, also, like this video, subscribe to our channel, click the bell to get notifications when we put out new videos because we're always releasing new reviews on puzzles, new solutions. We've got the, um, what's his name, Gregory's uh, Puzzle Insider. Uh, we also have our show. So we, we do a new uh, episode every week on Thursdays. Check it out. Thanks guys for watching. We'll uh, we'll see you in episode 127.